when I was a young kid, um, there was a, um, a widowed man that lived up the street. And uh, he was in his 80s. Uh, he's a little scary looking. And, and I got to know him a little bit. And one day he said, come on into my garage, I want to show you something. And he pulled out this dusty old rock tumbler. It was a, a motor and a, and, a, and a coffee can and a little you know, band between them. And, and he said, come on with me. We went out to the back and we got some, just some rocks, some regular old ugly rocks. And, he, we, and we put them in the can and um, we closed the can up and, and he turned this motor on. He said, come back tomorrow. And his can was making a, you know, a racket as the stones were. And I came back the next day and we took, we opened the can and we took out these amazingly beautiful polished rocks. The same common stones that had gone in through rubbing against each other like this, creating a little bit of friction, creating a little bit of noise, had come out these beautiful polished rocks. And that's always been in my mind my metaphor for a team working really hard on something they're passionate about is, is that it's through the team, through that group of incredibly talented people bumping up against each other, having arguments, having fights sometimes, making some noise. And working together, they polish each other. And they polish the ideas. And what comes out are these really beautiful stones. Um, you know, rain doesn't decide who and what it rains on. It just rains. And, and having compassion is the same thing. No matter what the situation, you should always have compassion towards all living things. Either you're gonna do something or you're not and I feel like at the time like when we both got together that was like both of our quote-unquote last Gandhi moment right like it was both of us in it together and we had a decision to make are we doing this or no because if we don't do this we're just gonna go back and that would have been the end man I would have went to school did this Kevin would have done his thing but we're like no we're doing it I'm literally talking about this every single day. I'm like, I'm on the computer every single day. He's doing his stuff every single day. Sometimes it's like, how did I even do this? And it all just starts from like an idea. When they get a piece, when they open up a garment, when they look at it for the first time, I want it to be more than just hardware, or price, or status, you know, all that stuff that comes with clothing. It's conversations, it's stories, it's messaging, you know, it's producing, you know, it's all these things, all of our life that makes this company. I can confidently say everything we come out with will always have inspiration. And you can fact check me this 10 years down the road. We're really trying to focus on like, what's going to be timeless and like what's authentic to us and like what we believe in and not veer away from that. If we're talking about Seven Cousin and you're thinking like you want to put on that piece or if you do put it on, you can kind of grin about it and be like, you know, I'm tough. I can do this. You know, I can get through this. So that's that feeling that we want. That's that feeling we're invoking with, with this 
collection is like your moment, your Gandhi moment. What are you going to do about it? You know, are you just going to sit and let it pass by? Or are you going to stand up and do something about it? I wanted to almost like, sounds weird, but like glam up a worker jacket. You know, the buttons are custom, the pockets are way different, like, you know, the zippers, like I said, the fit is not like a traditional worker jacket. For sure, Carhartt inspired, even like the back panels, a lot of it. We took certain pieces from like an old Carhartt jacket we found, and like, yeah, like even like the print, like, I mean, we sublimated the one side with like old silk Indian art, which which is super custom and like me and him are super specific with like what we want seen from that pattern right so like you know it takes a lot of tries and that was just like one part of it. We call it the Indo jacket because growing up in our culture like that's what we're called Indo-Canadians so like we made like one specific side obviously like the, the imagery and the silk art um, off uh, Indian pictures so we found that and just like dabbled with the colors and he goes crazy on graphic design, makes it all. And then the other side is the Canadian side, simple, clean cut, fabric, that's it. So like growing up, go to school, you gotta be Canadian, you gotta, then you gotta come home and then you gotta be Indian. So like that's what we wanted to portray there was just like our two sides. show you our emotions, our insecurities, everything that we're scared to talk about because in our culture people are quiet. They don't like to share their emotions, they don't like to talk, they don't like to do any of that sorts of stuff and creativity is not pushed, right? So it's just like go to school, do this, get a job and marriage is massive in our culture. So it's like if you get married, you're awesome. <laughs> so we just like want to, we, we always go against the grain in that sense just to like show you. Uh, that there's other ways man. There's other kids coming up now. They want more. They see all this stuff They see all these things on social media and yet their parents are telling them to do this this and this But they have something an idea that's like deeply rooted in them and they're scared to do it It's not that easy. It's been such a long time coming man if you actually think about it I never like when I grew up I never thought like our culture was bad or anything like I was never like oh my god I hate like all these things that we have to do like I never was like that but like it's just as I grow up and like see it like it's just like we were never taught to go do what you want it was always like go to school do good in school and like but like those things you have to like take it into account is like that's good like they don't they mean that in a good way they want you to be safe like they want you to like do good in school get a good job so your life's good there's no like they're not saying it for a bad like you know no bad intentions it makes you realize like you don't always have to do what your culture says to right like I just want to like I want to like inspire kids in Asian cultures or in our culture or whoever that you can just you don't have to you, you're not like stuck in a box like you know what I'm trying to say like you don't have to do what your grandparents or your parents want you to do like if you truly like something then just go do it it's like that's why like I was lucky with my mom because she already showed me how to break the barrier right like she was like I, I don't like this like she was in a battle like with my dad and she's like no so like it, for me growing up it was I always had that thing where like I wasn't as scared to do this as probably most people in an Indian household would that's what like made me not go by the rules
seeing what they were doing and just being like, fuck, <laughs> is that it? <laughs> like, that's what really woke me up, man. I was like going to school and just woke up one day and was like, no, man, I, I can't do this. Like, I can't do this anymore. And I feel like everybody has those moments, but no one wants to face them. But um, I did. And that's what like got me rolling into this. And then, like I've said, I met Kevin and and we've always been friends from afar, but then we just decided to come together. And then, you know, our goals kind of linked up together. He was as ambitious as I was to like, you know, kind of like prove our culture wrong. We don't want to make it about the culture, but like we just want to like show them like there's more out there. When you're the first to do something and you're going to break off those chains off your your family and you have to pioneer your way through these things like it's freaking hard man so it's like that's what we want to change we don't really see people in this industry that are like us so we want to be that for the people coming up so then they can look at us and be like yo man they did it like if they did it why can't we do it it's to be that vessel you know to show this younger generation that like hey man we're here don't be scared, just be truthful with yourself. You know, understand, like seek the truth. I never really understood that up until like, you know, basically like a year ago. I now know like seek truth, just be truthful to yourself. Understand that the, the issues that you have deeply rooted within yourself for your family or the people that are around you and admit them at least to yourself. And that's all, that's what we just wanna, we just wanna shift that in people's life. Fittings rehearsal is right now, and then probably gonna wait like three, four hours until the actual show. So, you know, this is our story. This is who we are. We can't help it. We're Punjabi. We we really want to shine light on those individuals and just individuals in general. It's not just like our culture, but like everyone. Nappu, this is twenty video, Mario. Gandhi ji original voice who, who ruled my soul they Gandhi said, comes into this message it was like uh, I mean we were talking earlier about it is like the Gandhi moment man we that's like what's inspired us throughout the the whole collection uh you have this man who you know who takes off to London I think it was 1888 he takes off to London he goes and wants to be a lawyer, crushes it, and keep in mind at this time, like super racism, <laughs> like super racism. So it's already like a struggle being there, but he does it, you know, he does his thing. And then he goes and uh, moves to South Africa, practices law there, crushing it. And now he's just suave, man, like he's in suits, he's, he's loving his life, he's making a heavy income, and things are going good for him. So he gets on a first class train and um, gets kicked off. And then right in that moment, man, it changes our world that we live in. Like that, I don't know, like if you can't get inspired by that, because at that moment, he trades in the suit for, uh, I think it was like a dhoti, you know, the wrap that he wears, he trades that in. And now he starts the philosophies of Gandhi. This guy already has everything. He comes from nothing. He was poor, you know, and then now he's an attorney in South Africa, like established. But he gets one incident where he feels unjust. This message was so powerful to him that it pulled him away from the life he had in order to live this life now. And how do you relate that to us? How is that seven Kazran? Well, guess what? We had our Gandhi moment. Here's our life. You know, go to school, do this, do that, run by our parents, get married, blah, blah, blah. But this other life, this life right now, pulling us every day, every day. And what causes that friction? We weren't listening. He listened right away. He didn't question it. So I feel like surface level stuff, like when you look at it head on, you see, yeah, you see two Indian guys, two guys that are inspired by their culture, their Sikh Punjabi culture. But like if you strip away the Gandhi, the, the Indian, the, the religion, these labels that people always just automatically assume and put on people, all you're left with is true. I'm trying to get some more clips for you guys, so let's get the show started. Jesus Christ, Buddha, Gandhi, MLK, people who seek truth, man, always, always have shelf life, always going to leave a legacy, always going to be remembered, and for good reasons. And because they lived it, 
look where we're at now. You know, look at these ideas. Look at what has emerged right now. This is kind of like our call to action for people is like, seek truth, be responsible with you. You know, don't just witness the things that are going on in your head, in your life, and just be like, yeah, that's normal. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything about that. No, you have these Gandhi moments. Be responsible. What's being responsible? Being true to yourself. All, all this formed in one big bubble, like, what is it? What is it? What is it that you want? It's just seeking that truth, following that truth. Once it calls you, answer. <laughs>